And Rob, what's your name? Hi. Alright, well, hey guys. I'm back after five months of taking a break. I'm not repeating anything. It's raw footage. This is raw footage, by the way, so it's going to be one take. What you heard in the background was my sister. She's just sitting here supporting me on, because why not? But, yeah, raw footage time. I may cut this out. I may not. If I don't enjoy the sound, you heard. But I'm back after five months taking a very small break. And today, I'm going to show y'all my updated phone collection, my tablet collection, and my computer collection. And I'm also getting a very special surprise coming tomorrow at 8 p.m. And I will be posting a video about it. So, just stay tuned for that. But, we're going to go ahead and get on with my phone collection, tablets, and computers. Yeah. Ignore my room, it's kind of a train wreck right now. But right now we're gonna start with my phones. Starting from this, go over and over. And then I'll showcase the last phone. So, first phone is a TCL LX. Uh, my aunt gave me this. Well, my aunt's boyfriend actually gave me this. It's dead. But it's got no SIM tray on the side, I think. Yeah, no SIM tray. It's for straight talk, and it's got this weird stuff in the back, but it works fine. I used to use it for a little bit, but, yeah. Next phone is a smashed LG Rebel 4. It is really badly cracked, but downside of that, it still works. My, the same man who gave me the TCO gave me that as well, so, vibing with it. But it's also on straight talk, and I just use it for media primarily, but, yeah. Next phone is a Galaxy J7 Crown. Uh, my friend Landon gave me this a while back. And I got a Credit Now Auto Sale sticker on it that my brother gave me. So, while these two are turning on, I'm going to showcase the next ones. Next is one of my two Galaxy S2s on T Mobile. I don't know which one this is. I have two of these, so I'm kind of confused, but. Yeah, this phone works. It's really hard to use because of how badly cracked it is. But, none to say less, it works completely fine. It's not activated, so it's just vibing here. I'm going to turn it off now because I don't really use it. But, it's just really badly cracked. That's like the only downside of it, really. Here's a Galaxy J7 Crown. It works. It's just, I don't know, it's old for its age. And it's got a bunch of scratches on the screen. So, uh, this is still customized how I used to use it. Bold font, all that crap. But, yeah, I love this phone. So. Okay, can you turn off, please? There we go. Next is a, uh, one of my two Galaxy S2s. One of my uh, close friends gave me this with a couple other phones. But, yeah. Next. Uh, this is one of my Galaxy S3s. I don't think this has a battery in it. But if it doesn't, oh well. Yeah, it's not a battery in it, but it works. It's on version mobile and... Justin gave me it a while back, so no cracks. I came with a case too, but <laughs> my sister's vibing over here. Another Galaxy S2, same exact one as the first one. This one's dead, but it's on T-Mobile and it works. So here's my famous Galaxy Note 3, as y'all may know. My aunt gave me this before she passed about two years ago now, and I've had it ever since. So. It is kind of like my secondary phone, but I don't really use it because it's got a really bad battery. I've already done a replaced the battery once and it's bad, so I'm just going to keep it as it is. But, yeah. Next phone is my ZTE Blade Spark. This thing works fine. I just chill with it, really. But, it's on at and and it was my old phone for a little bit. But, yeah. It's cracked, too.
so yeah I love this phone, I'm not gonna lie to you, but you know, let me turn it off. I do have a message, but it's weird because my SIM card doesn't work. Next is my Galaxy S4. My grandma gave me this. Oh, I got this for uh, Christmas one year. My grandma gave me this. It's got a busted AMOLED, but it still works. It just needs a new screen. Next is my second Galaxy S3. This is the first one Justin gave me. It's bricked and it's on D-Mobile. It's got a crack screen. So, yeah. Next is an original Galaxy S. Uh, my close friend who gave me the S2. And one of the these coming up phones gave me this too. It works fine. It's on D-Mobile. And it's really slow for its age. But that's what I get for an old phone. But next phone is a ZTE Paragon, I believe. Just a game this as well. I'm gonna slide this over here. Uh, next phone is a ZTE Blade Spark. My friend Dylan gave me this in like August because he got a new phone. So, yeah. Yeah, it's really slow for its age, so. I don't really use it except for just for random stuff for this, I don't know. Oh, this works too as well. It's about to die, but it's just chilling here, I guess. I really don't want to use it that much. It's slow comparing it to on 4.4.4. Four, I believe, or two, I don't know. But next phone's a Galaxy S5. This works, it's just dead. It's got a distorted back up here and no charging cover, but it's on straight talk and it works. So, next phone, I'm kind of tilted right now, I'm very sorry. It's just how I'm holding my phone, but next is another Galaxy S3. This is my third one. This is on Straight Talk, and my friend gave my close friend gave me this as well. That's really badly cracked. Next phone is this weird ZTE. My aunt gave me it in a bag she found one day, and it doesn't turn on or anything. So it's just vibing here. Next to ZTE Citrain OTE. It's my second one I've owned, and my close friend gave me this as well. It's dead. But it's on check phone. Next is a ZTE. <laughs> no, the uh, Samsung Galaxy Grand Prime. Uh, my close friend gave me this as well. It's on Straight Talk and it works fine. And here's my last Galaxy S3. The back isn't clipped in, but it's also on Straight Talk. My close friend gave me this as well, and it's not badly out cracked. It's just cracked at the top right there, and it goes over. But Next is the iPhone 4S on iOS 7.1.2, and my ex gave me this with no SIM tray and no charger, but I have a charger, so. Ah, uh, my phone's sorry, I was ignored if you're hearing my mom, by the way. Probably just gonna hear her in the background, I bet you, but, you know. This is used for other recreational purposes, just cause why not? Next phone is an iPhone SE. My aunt sent me this in the mail. She told me she couldn't get it to work. But I got it to work and it was my secondary daily phone for a little bit. But now it's just chilling here. It's on AT&T and Cricket and it works completely fine. It's on my iCloud account and everything. Wrong app. It's on my iCloud account. Everything like that, so... You're hearing my mom right now. And then, yeah. It's on someone else's iCloud, but I'll show you it's on the version of, yeah, snap. It's on the version of, it's on iOS 7.1.2 and it's the 8 gig model. So, I tried to email the owner, but the person didn't answer, so I'm just going to let it show here. And then the last phone I'm recording on, I'll show y'all. I never made a video on it, sadly. I was supposed to, but I lost the footage. 
uh, I finally got an upgrade from this. And I'm recording off an iPhone 11 right now. Probably got too many lights on, but... Yeah, iPhone 11, 128 gigs. Whoa. It's on AT&T. So, yeah. These are my two tablets I have. This is a Kindle Fire HD 7, ninth generation. It works. It's just chipped at the top right here. I may use it to play GTA Minecraft on because I'm bored. But this is a HP Stream 7 that uh, Phoenix gave me. He told me it wouldn't turn on. I tried charging it. It won't charge or nothing. So it's just vibing here. But yeah. That's going to turn on and then I'll show you when it turns off. But that's turning on. I'm going to get on my computers right now. So first I'm going to show you. My daily laptop. This is a HP 15 inch. I don't know the model number exactly. It's the longest mess, but you know. It gets the job done. It's that's a Mac OS X Jaguar wallpaper. But yeah, this works. It's just about to die though, sadly. But it's just got the Play Store, Snapchat, stuff I'd use on it. So yeah. It's just vibes over here. Actually, leave it on because I may use it. But this is my daily laptop. Yeah, it works fine. It is a touch screen. I just don't really feel like using the touch screen at the moment. But I named it the white just because I got bored. <laughs> I named my computer the white from the office. Yeah. But yeah. So and it works. It's just not up to speed of what I'd use it for. So it just vibes here. Right under me is a HP Brio PC from the late 90s. It's a HP Brio BA200. This was owned by my local church. And Justin went up there one day and they gave it to him. And he had it in his possession for a good little bit. But then he passed it down to me because he knew. I asked him if I can have it. He told me yes. The back cover is in my closet because it won't stay on. But yeah. It's running Windows 98, second edition, the HP OEM version, and I can't wipe the drive cleaner, get recovery images, CDs for it. So if you do have a recovery image for a HP Brio BA200 with Windows 98, second edition, please let me know. I'd appreciate it. Thanks. Now we're gonna slide over here and get onto these six computers right here. And then, yeah, first, Right, first, this is the bottom portion of a uh, a Dell Inspiron N4030. It runs Windows 7 Home Premium, but it just it doesn't work. My aunt gave it to me. And my mom, not my aunt, my cousin gave it to me. And my mom was thinking we could fix it, but we never really got to. So she gave it to me. And me being young at the time, I ripped the whole top off of it. So it just. A keyboard, mouse. It works, I think. I don't know. I need a power supply for it really bad. But if I do get a... Sorry, if I do get a power supply for it, then I'll just get another one and swap the hard drive out and the battery out and RAM and everything and use it. So That'd be pretty cool, I guess. Yeah. Uh, I don't know what that is under it, but... Next, this is a very special computer to me. This is a HP Pavilion ZV6000. So my dad's old computer. It still runs Windows XP Home Edition SP2, Service Pack 2, with the HP OEM software on top of it. But the charger quit working on me finally, so I can't really boot it up and show y'all. But I'm gonna get another charger for it, but it's missing the it's missing F6256. <laughs> two five six. That's funny. E R T Y U O. 
the weird slash thing. A, F, G, and N. But nonetheless, all the keys still work. So, yeah. The casing is chipped from over the years. And I just threw the screen up for this yesterday because it was hanging. And last time Justin was at my house, he snapped it off. So, mint. I'm a transition. This right here. I'm gonna fold it down and pick it up and just show you. I don't know why the grand prime's going off, but oh well. Go off this. This is a HP Pavilion CV 5000. This, I don't know if it works. It's missing the U key. Like all the other keys are working, except for the U. So I'm going to get another U key for it. I don't know if this works, sadly, due to the fact that I don't have a charger. And it has no hard drive. My dog fell asleep. I'm going to have to get a new hard drive for it. So, yeah. But it runs some sort of version of Windows XP. Well, it says it does, but I'm going to probably put Linux on it, I bet you. All right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna drop my phone. Oh, I forgot this, this phone has all my emails on it. Okay. I'm gonna shut this off now because all my emails like wound up on it, so. Yeah, that's cool. Okay. This right here is a uh, older generation IBM Origination IBM ThinkPad. Uh, IBM ThinkPad. I can see that. 600X. The screen is busted on it completely. That's why I took the delicate time to draw my creation on it. It runs some sort of version of Windows 2000. And it's... Yeah, it doesn't do anything i boot it up it boots up and it some says some sort of error but i don't know because the screen's busted so yeah that sucks Booty hole. this next computer is a ibm thinkpad t40 it runs windows xp professional it's missing the e u and enter keys but nonetheless they also work the screen died on it so I'll get my monitor and it has an encryption software on it. So I can't do nothing yet with this. I may just have to get another hard drive for it and swap it, which I don't care to do. But I want to get a new screen and new keys to this. So yeah. Last computer is my HP Stream 11. This thing, well, it's really old. It works fine, it's just the screen's like cracked real bad. So. It's got Lubuntu on it, and it's really, like, freaking dusty and dirty. So, yeah, all I gotta do is just get a new screen for this and clean this up. And then we'll be, I'll be golden. It originally came with Windows 8.1, but I put Windows 10 on it. And then I put, uh, Ed Ubuntu 16.04, and then Lubuntu 16.04. And then it cracked with Lubuntu. So, yeah. That is all my computers and phones and tablets at the moment. So, yeah. I'm going to show you my iPhone in all its glory right now. Because ignoring my dirty ass mirror. But here's my iPhone 11. It's 128 gigs black. It's on AT&T. So, yeah. Uh, tomorrow, I am posting a new video. Uh, something you're gonna enjoy so I'm not gonna give any hints or not what it is but one person knows who it is do not say it please but excuse me yeah I will be back tomorrow at about let's see here it's 9.03 at night I'll be here 23 hour, well, 22 hours and 58 minutes from now tomorrow See y'all then.